you guys it's sarah here welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i make this newly designed little kind of finding nemo themed activity page it's not exactly finding nemo but it has those types of fish um, or sea creatures in it they are so cute they're totally detachable so you little kids can pick them up they're nice and stiff and structured and strong and then you can store them in the pockets of the page when the child is not playing with them so that they don't get lost. I am gonna have a free printable version on my website. It's just a PDF file. You print it out, you cut out the pieces, and you can put this together if you're wanting to make one for your child or for your grandchild or for someone you know. If you want the bulk templates that I use to make this on my cutting machine, I have them available on my Patreon. So let me show you what that looks like and then we'll get started putting together the page. So Patreon is a subscription-based platform. The way it works is people can sign up and pay a small monthly fee and in exchange they get access to many, many templates that I've put together in bulk. Here are, I'm just scrolling through showing you all so far many of the different um, activities that I've posted. Um, and I post at least two new templates a month. Let me show you how it works. I'm just going to scroll back up to where I have posted um, the Nemo themed fish activity page. So normally I'm not quite done this post. Normally there will be a picture of the page and then you click on the picture and you can scroll through using the arrows to go left and right. There will be a color reference page. So you don't use this as your template, but that is what all the different templates look like. And that is the color that you will need to cut them in. So then when you go and click on the next arrow, you will see this is what you will save as your template. All of them will be in black and white because that contrast makes it easier and makes it more clear when you are uploading it into your cutting program. Um, and you can't really see it in the video, but in the captions underneath each photo of the template, it will tell you like what it is. So this is black fish details. So these are some of the black pieces and the black eyes. So you're gonna cut this whole thing in black and this cuts out enough for um, eight sets of the fish pages. The way I've designed these templates is um, to be making, to cut and make eight pages at a time. So this cuts enough for eight fish pages. And then it will also tell you in the captions what size you need to adjust it to. So when you click the next arrow, you'll see the next template, you right click, you click save image as, and you save it to your computer. It's just a JPEG. Um, so, and again, it will tell you in the caption, this is for the blue dory fish. You adjust the size to be approximately 28 centimeters by 29 centimeters or 11.27 inches by 11.49 inches. Um, and again, this will be enough to cut out. One cut will give you enough for four um, dory fish because I, I glued two copies together in this activity. So you'll need to do two cuts to get eight dory fish. Um, this one just cuts out a whole bunch of brown turtle shells and it will give you enough for 16 turtles. So you can use the first eight and then save the second set of eight for the next time that you're putting this page together. And then that way you don't have to bother even cutting this template out next time. Um, and then these are for turtles. This is the only one that's not in a set of eight just because I couldn't get them fit in there, but I always try to do my best to make it the same number. Sometimes I can't. This one unfortunately gives you a set of six. Um, so you'd have to do two cuts to get that set of eight and then save the rest for next time. Again, this one will get one cut of this in orange. This is for the clownfish. It gives you enough to do four sets. So you'll need to do two of those cuts to get enough for eight. Um, this is just a bunch of coral reef. There's a set of nine in there. And then again, this will give you um, a set for four of the uh, white fish and some white eyes. And then you have to cut it again to get another four. And then that will give you a total set of eight. So that is the Patreon page. Please feel free to check that out if you think that's something that you can use. Let's see how to put this page together. Let's go ahead and get started, but forgive me in advance for the mess that you see. I have a lot of these pieces done and hot glued already sitting to the side. So if you're like me and you're making these in bulk, you're gonna find out that when you cut them, you have a lot of little pieces. This page involves a lot of tiny pieces. So I had a bunch in this basket. I got them hot glued right away. So just a little tip, if you are using my bulk um, template on my Patreon page, put the pieces in a basket right after you cut them and try to get the hot gluing on the fish done right away just so that you can keep track of all of those pieces. Let's show how to put them on. So I'm gonna start with taking each copy, um, two copies of each of the fish, and I'm gonna hot glue them together so that those pieces are nice and stiff and structured. 
By the way, I'm using my 1.2 millimeter felt. Um, I have it available on my website to purchase if you're interested. I've kind of mostly switched over to my Korean felt. Um, sometimes I still use the Amazon felt for the background pages or for the backside of the activity page. Um, today, I'm actually using my Korean felt as well in a light blue shade for the actual page itself. And as always, it's eight inches by eight inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue each of those copies together. With the turtle, I'm only using one copy in the green and then I'm gonna hot glue his turtle shell on. Okay, let's do the details of each of these fish. I'm gonna start with this green shell looking piece and it's a part of the template, but I'm just going to cut it in half manually. Um, I did that just because, like, I didn't put the pieces cut in the template just because I already have so many little pieces with this activity page. It's really easy to just cut that in half and then in half again. So I'm going to hot glue that onto the turtle's back. And then for the turtle's eyes, you'll see two smaller circles in the template, two smaller white circles. That's for the turtle. For the black part of the turtle's eyes, unfortunately, these are getting so small that I don't trust my Cricut to cut out eyes that small. So what I do instead, for just for the turtle's eyes, is I take a black piece of felt and I use my hole punch and I put two holes into the black felt. It doesn't always cut perfectly circular and it doesn't always come out so you have to kind of cut it out but I use that and I just keep that black circle and I'm going to hot glue that on to be the turtle's eyes. Let's go ahead and do this blue dory fish next. This is going to be the trickiest one. We're going to have some tiny pieces for this one. So you're going to have a nice um, black piece that's going to be hot glued there. You're gonna have this long, thin yellow piece. It's gonna be hot glued at the top. And you're gonna have a smaller, um, thin yellow piece that looks like this. That's gonna be um, at the bottom here, right around there. And then you're gonna have this teeny, itty bitty, tiny little yellow piece. And that's gonna go on the bottom fin. And then you're also gonna have this yellow piece for the tail. And then finally, you're gonna have this little yellow fin for the, um, on, on its body, uh, and it can go like that. So we're gonna do like Weird Al, let me just zoom in. We're gonna do like a surgeon, like we're cutting for the very first time, because these pieces are super small, so to glue on this yellow piece, I'm actually going to just hot glue directly onto the blue fish, um, because otherwise, if I put it on the yellow piece itself, it kind of makes a bit of a mess. So I'm just gonna very carefully glue that down. And if that hot glue comes out the bottom, that's okay. That's actually, I'm purposefully making it come out the bottom. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's squeezing out the bottom a bit. That's okay, because I'm gonna cover that up. I just don't want it to squeeze out the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue on these little pieces here. And you need enough hot glue that it you know, it definitely stays on there, but just try not to use too much that it's kind of coming out. I can hot glue this, uh, or coming out the sides, I should say. I'm going to hot glue this yellow piece onto the black piece there. And I'll go ahead and actually I'll hot glue on that yellow fin after I get this black piece glued on. That's perfect, and we covered that hot glue spillage at the top there, so that's good. Then I'll hot glue on the fin. And then last but not least, we're going to glue on the eyes. Let's do the clownfish next. For the clownfish, you need this white curved piece, and you need this little white piece at the tail. It'll look like that. And then you need this center piece here. Okay, and for the clownfish, for the eye, I actually layer that eye over top of the first kind of white strip there. And I mean, don't be afraid of doing that because I think it looks super cute. It adds more um, dimension to the fish and that's just kind of the right spot for it.
last but not least for the I think that's called an angel fish I'm not sure I can't remember we have three pieces here um, we have a large <clears throat> a large black strip and it should kind of fit just nicely right into that first fin there um, and it should line up with the top so you can hot glue that in place um, this yellow piece is for the tail and then there's another black piece again that should line up right with the angle of that second fin and then I will hot glue on the eye. Those are the fish. They are single sided so the back sides of them are just blank and I purposefully set them up so that like I have one face like two facing each other. They're not all facing the same way and that way when little kids play with them they can pretend like they're interacting or they're talking to each other. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put those aside for now. Um, I'm going to bring out the coral reef, which is in the template, um, my 8 inch by 8 inch sheet of felt. Something that I'm also going to include is this, um, I hand cut this with just some spare light green felt that I have, and I use my pair of scissors that are wavy. Um, they cut through fabric and they have this wavy shape to them. So I use those to just freehand cut this um, green seaweed, I guess. But even if you don't have these scissors, um, it's really easy to cut these by hand. I also have these pieces, my light blue with white polka dot fabric. This felt is a little bit more expensive and normally I would not use this for the waves. Normally I would use just a nice turquoise blue. Um, however, I'm going to use these because I had these left over from another activity that I did where I, I used my light blue polka dot felt. And so I'm going to go ahead and use it in this activity just so that I don't waste this. But there is a template for the waves in the, um, in the uh, template that I provide. So I'm going to place them wherever and I'm going to sew just one of them, just the top one. I'm going to sew it down in place at the bottom, not at the sides. I'm also going to take a strip of my spare leftover yellow fabric that I have, yellow felt that I have. And I'm, there is no template for this, so this is optional if you want to add this or not. Um, I'm just going to add a little strip of sand to sew along the bottom. And again, I'm just going to cut it by hand using my wavy fabric scissors. I just got those scissors from Amazon if you're curious. And I'm not going to sew yet, but I'm just going to put that second layer of my waves down. I'm going to put down my sand. And I'm going to use my clips to clip in place my coral reef right at the bottom with all those layers of felt and then also my seaweed i'm going to clip that in place and i'm not going to bother sewing them on because that's just going to take time i'm not going to sew them on until i'm ready to sew on the back side of this activity page and uh, i'll just sew around the whole border at once and that will sew on the wave, the sand, the coral reef, and the seaweed. It'll sew it on all at once as I'm doing the border. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another eight inch by eight inch sheet of felt, and I'm gonna use this as my backside. I'm gonna wrap it in fabric though, because I do not like this color. And this felt is just my thinner one millimeter felt from Amazon. It's less expensive than the Korean felt, so this is where I use it for the back sides of the pages. Um, I do have this um, sea themed felt or fabric to wrap. I'm gonna cut a piece of the uh, sea themed uh, fabric and I'm gonna iron it because it's definitely wrinkled usually I don't need to iron my fabric it's usually stays pretty good but this one I'm gonna iron I'm just gonna wrap this felt around or fabric around my 8 inch by 8 inch piece of felt so that's done last but not least I'm going to clip the page itself to the back and I'm going to sew around the border. I've already hand cut three pieces. These are three millimeter thick felt and I just hand cut them using my um, scalloped edge fabric scissors similar to the wave scissors um, and I just put them in between the front and back page and I sew around the border. I think that pink, yellow, or blue would look cute for a binding piece, so I cut out all three. I'll start with blue and I'll probably use pink and yellow on, on the other ones as well. But yeah, so I'm going to put that in between the front and back page and then sew around the border. And then we're going to bring back out my hole punch again and I'm going to hole punch the binding piece. And that is how I will connect the pages. I will just use little binder rings to connect the pages together. It's so cute and 
the child can store the pieces in the pockets of the waves when they're done playing. This is probably one of my favorite activities that I've done so far. Not because um, I, I do love Finding Nemo, but it's not even because of that. I just think it's so cute and the details, even though it's kind of a pain to get the details onto the fish with them being such small pieces, it looks so cute and I just think it's totally worth it. That's what it looks like on the back side. Um, this page took me about 30 minutes to assemble and that includes the cutting time if you're using my um, templates on Patreon and, and cutting it with your Cricut or some sort of cutting machine. If you're cutting out the pieces by hand, obviously it's going to take longer. Um, but it took me about 30 minutes to um, cut the pieces for one page and to assemble one page, 30 minutes altogether. The cost of this activity page, including all the materials you see here, so including the felt, the hot glue, um, the binding piece, the fabric, um, everything that you see here, the thread, the cost of those materials are about $5. That also includes a small, um, I think about 25 cent cutting fee that I apply to all of my pages to help pay for the Cricut mats. That cost does not include the cost of my sewing machine, the cost of my Cricut machine, the cost of overhead things like electricity, um, and it does not include the cost of craft shows, nor does it include the cost of my website. So just all things to consider if you are thinking about making this and pricing it out and selling it at craft shows. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you to those of you subscribed on my Patreon. I really appreciate the support. Thank you to those of you on YouTube. If you could just do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. Really appreciate you guys following along with me and I hope you guys enjoy making this activity page. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.